Craftsman's new V-series of tools. In our last video, we took a look at the wrenches and some of the new products online. But today, we've got more of those products on hand to take an up-close look at. Today, we're going to be looking at Craftsman's new French connection and how some of these other Stanley Black & Decker brand's products are filtering into the Craftsman product line. So really quickly before we get into the tools, let's take a really quick recap of, let's say, the last 10 years or so history of the Craftsman brand. So Craftsman used to be owned by Sears. Sears came upon uh, some financial trouble, so to say, and they had to cut and sell a lot of their owned assets, one of those being the Craftsman brand. They sold this off a handful of years ago to the Stanley Black & Decker Corporation. So the Stanley Black & Decker Corporation is one of, if not the largest, tool conglomerate on the planet right now, owning multiple brands, as you see across the screen. They own a ton of properties. So when they bought Craftsman a few years ago, they decided they were going to turn the brand around as under Sears ownership and as they uh, bled money, the brand really went downhill. So recently, a few months ago, they launched the new V-Series. So we looked at the V-Series wrenches earlier, as I said in the intro, and we looked at some of the other tools in the lineup online. But right now we've got some more on hand. In that first video, I stated that the wrenches were made in Taiwan, and a lot of this stuff is going to be uh, foreign made. I have not yet run across Craftsman V-Series stuff that's USA made yet, and I know USA made is a big deal for lots of you Craftsman fans. I know that Stanley Black & Decker said that they are going to try to bring manufacturing back to the US, but there's no real set date of when that will happen. So we have what we have right now, and what we have is a screwdriver set, eight piece, a six piece nut driver set, and a set of flush cut diagonal pliers. Now, why these three items in particular? Well, these three items here are made in France. And some of you may be thinking, well, what in the world? What's made in France? Why are there tools made in France? Well, another one of Stanley Black & Decker's own properties, you will see right here, Facum or Facum, I'm not exactly sure the correct pronunciation, is an own property of the Stanley Black & Decker Corporation, and uh, Facum is basically the Mac tools, the Snap-on, the Macco of France. It's one of the big professional European tool brands. So Facum is a very big part of Stanley Black & Decker, and they are a French-based company. Now, in last few years, as far as I've seen, a lot of the Focum stuff has gone uh, from being manufactured in France to going overseas to Asia, Taiwan, uh, but some of the stuff is still made in France, and that's where these particular V-Series tools come into play. These are made in France, and they are direct lineage is off of the Focum product line. And we will put in a couple pictures here. Uh, the Focum Pro Twist screwdrivers, basically the exact same thing as what we got here, uh, less uh, the name, a couple colors on the handle, and a differential color of the tip. And we've got the Focum nut drivers and EVA foam in that set. They have a plastic tray in the Craftsman variant. And then with the diagonal pliers, these are seven inch or 180 millimeter. Uh, this is uh, Focum's G series of plier. Uh, again, French made. So we're gonna get into it today, take a look at the screwdriver set, take a look at the nut driver set and this diagonal plier set, talk about pricing and uh, just check them out. So this eight piece set is selling right now for $69.98 on Lowe's.com. Well, what's included is a pH 1 3 inch, a pH 2 4 inch, a pH 3 6 inch, and a pH 4 7 inch. We've got a eighth inch by 4 inch flat. We've got a quarter inch by 6 inch flat, a 5 16 by 6 inch, and a 3 8 by 7 inch flat head. So no stubbies in this set. One thing I'd like to have seen, uh, but we do have two smaller, uh, more precision uh, tipped screwdrivers in the set. Not sure if you can make out the Made in France there. I'll put a picture up on the screen. Flipping to the side of the box, we've got verified two times solvent protection. We've got a precision machine tip, premium alloy steel, 
and a soft touch grip. Let's go ahead and tear into this set and take a better look at what's in it. So we do have this nice uh, bolted case, something you could easily set in your toolbox drawer. Uh, very thin in height, so it's not going to take up a lot of real estate, not going to hit on even your uh, slimmer drawers. Uh, one thing, like I just said, I would have liked to have seen in this set are a stubby flat and a stubby Phillips, uh, but we do have a little uh, precision flat head here with the eighth inch tip, and we've got a not quite precision number one Phillips, but a smaller one than the rest of the set. So one thing right off the bat we see on the four larger sizes, we see a nut bolster for putting a wrench on for more turning torque, whereas the four smaller sizes do not. I wouldn't expect these two to have it, but maybe a uh, wrench bolster, uh, nut bolster on these two sizes on the uh, quarter inch flat and the number two Phillips would be a nice addition as well. So these screwdrivers do fit very snugly in the tray. They actually clip in and uh, they're not gonna fall out. So if you put these in a tool bag or something, uh, they're not gonna jostle free and just fall out of the case. They are securely attached to the tray. A nice little feature there. So nice ergonomic fit to the handle. It is a softer grip. This is hard. Uh, this is squishier uh, here and here where the Craftsman name is. Clearly marked PH2 would be nice to have had the marking on the end, uh, but you can't get everything. Uh, clearly you can see right here the France on the handle. Part number is laser etched on the shank of the screwdriver. Uh, that is nice. Uh, when they put it on the handle, a lot of times it can get worn off or rubbed off. Uh, so not really going to see normally a lot of wear up on the upper part of the shank here. So should be fairly well protected. Looking at the business end, we don't see any kind of special uh, teeth or grips or grit in the tip for grabbing into the head of the screw like we see on other brands like Snap-on or Vessel, uh, etc. We do see there is a black finish on the tip, no chrome, so that will help with the grip. Uh, there's no added mechanical grip, uh, just, a, uh, just relying on that coating and the cut of the tip. Here's a look at the little eight inch flathead precision screwdriver. Part number on it is actually in the handle just because the blade, the shank is too small to laser etch. Uh, hopefully that won't wear with age. Again, France stamped into the handle. Nice little precision tip. Looking at the number three Phillips, we see that shank there for putting a wrench on for extra turning torque. Also get a little bit better look at this business end just because it's a bigger size. Machining looks very nice. Lots of straight lines, no like chowdered up, chewed up look to the tip. Very well made. And here you can see 11 millimeter wrench open in right there where you can help give yourself some more leverage on turning a stuck fastener. Well, using one hand to put pressure on the butt end and keep it in the screw head. Can use the open end or you can slide the box end down as well for that extra turning torque. So shifting gears, we're gonna look at the metric six piece nut driver set now. Uh, advertising up to 30% more torque on the fastener. This set includes a four, six, eight, nine, 10, and 11 millimeter. Again, made in France. On the side, we've got that same verified two times solver protection handle, forged body, six point socket geometry, and a soft touch grip. Just like the screwdriver set, we've got the nice molded case. Uh, it's not the thickest plastic, but it's also not the thinnest plastic. It is kind of uh, flexy, but not like super thin or brittle feeling. Again, these clip in securely, so they're not gonna dump out. And the case is very low profile again for those skinny drawers. You're not gonna have to worry about taking up a lot of space or it sticking up above the drawer and hitting when you close that drawer. 
So again, on sizes, we've got four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Not too keen on the eleven. Would have liked to have seen a twelve millimeter in this set personally, just because I don't really ever use eleven millimeter uh, fasteners or come across them. So again, same handle, same grip, uh, the cushiony, soft, uh, but also firm at the same time handle as the screwdrivers. Again, all the screwdrivers have uh, France cast in them. Nice chrome, nice finish to the actual nut driver section. We've got that laser etching down here on the shank as well, like the screwdrivers. And we do have quite a bit of depth here for nuts on longer studs, so you can clear those studs which is a nice feature on a nut driver because a lot of them uh, just give you this and then a solid handle and don't accommodate uh, a stud. So nice to see them give you that relief there to accommodate a longer stud. So one thing I'm noticing that would likely be beneficial is there are no bolsters for a wrench like on the screwdrivers. That would have been a nice feature to add to these nut drivers. Uh, so our size is in the handle up here. It is Pretty small, honestly. Uh, but then they have laser etched the size up here in the tip of the nut driver as well. So again, not very visible, uh, but it is there. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't rub off uh, within short order. Hopefully that uh, sticks around for a while, but it doesn't look like it is uh, very deeply etched in there. So couple years down the line, uh, you might not be seeing that tin anymore. So looking at the tip, we can see that the corners are rounded. We got those off cuts to offload uh, the torque from the tool onto the fastener's flats rather than the corners, uh, which would explain the up to 30% more torque, uh, similar to Snap-on's flank drive, how it offloads the load off of the corners and onto the flats for more surface area to grab stubborn stuck fasteners. And last but not least, we've got the seven inch or 180 millimeter flush cut diagonal pliers. Again, these are basically the Focum G series plier as we showed on the screen earlier. These are coming in at a price of $34.98 right now on Lowe's website. Lifetime warranty, just like the other V series tools. So not much on the packaging placard. We've got dipped handles and a flush cutting blade, which uh, is pretty uh, expected for a flush cut plier. So real quick size comparison with a snap-on diagonal cutter. I think this is their 87 ACF. Uh, a little bit shorter on the Craftsman, not as long a length on the handles. So our dip on the handles is not that cushy or cushioning. Uh, it's more of a thinner a plasticky coating, uh, but it will do its job of insulating your hands from cold or heat when picking up these pliers in the winter or summer. So where are flush cuts most valuable? And most of you guys will probably agree with me in cutting of zip ties. If you take a zip tie and cut it off, cut the tail off with a regular diagonal cutter, you're gonna get that jagged edge that's gonna tear your arms up. And uh, we've got a zip tie here. And we'll cut them with the snap-on diagonal cutters. And you always get that little rough edge poking up. We'll get the macro lens out and take a look at that. Let's take our Craftsman V-Series flush cuts. Cut a zip tie. And as you see, nothing is protruding here. Nice and flush and not going to scratch your arms, cut your arms up, or uh, hurt the next guy working on it behind you. So there's your quick comparison. There's the snap-on diagonal cutter cut zip tie with that sharp pointy edge there and there's the Craftsman V-Series flush cut cut zip tie. Nothing protruding, nothing gonna grab your arm and slice you up. So it looks like we've got some laser etching for the Craftsman name and the V-Series logo as well as the part number. Not great seeing that uh, because it will wear with time. Uh, case in point, my Snap-on 87 ACFs, you can barely make out uh, that now after uh, many years of use, it is uh, wearing off of there. It would be nice if they could stamp it into it like the USA and Snap-on here. If they could uh, have stamped that into the Craftsman plier. Uh, one other thing that I noticed is that these pliers do have a protective coating. I only noticed because there's like a drop of it here. 
There's a protective coating over here to help keep these from corroding or rusting. Nice little added benefit there. Nice straight smooth jaws. Uh, there's a little bit of a defect there at the very tip, but uh, nothing that's going to really affect anything. Uh, you got plenty of surface area still to cut uh, nice and flush. Also nice that these are riveted in place. No bolt or nut or screw assembly to back out. And again, here you can see the thickness of the coating. It's not super cushy, but again, it will insulate you from uh, temperature changes in these metal handles. All right, guys, and there you have it. A look at the Craftsman V-Series eight-piece screwdriver set, six-piece nut driver set, and the diagonal flush cut pliers. A lot of you were disappointed in the first video that a lot of the V-Series stuff was made in Taiwan, but now we have some European, some French-made tools, some rebranded, uh, so to say, Fockham tools, which I personally am kind of excited about that we get some Fockham French tools here in the U.S. under the Craftsman name. Uh, what are your thoughts and feelings on this? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.